G'day folks, Colin here from Colin's Creative Crustaceans. Nah, not really. It's Andrew from Andy's Will Journeys. Ah, today is the 15th of March 2021. It is exactly 15 months since I returned from Lisbon on my last plane flight. And today I am boarding a plane to Hobart, Tasmania. So yes, finally the time has come that I get to fly again. Um, right now, we still live in the fear of lockdowns if there is so much as one or two cases. Uh, and recently we've had Brisbane and Sydney both have a case, but we're down here in Melbourne and we're clear today. We've been clear for 17 days or something straight. Uh, Tasmania's been clear for ages. So finally, I get to take you somewhere. So. Let's hop aboard the car and drive our way to Melbourne Tullamarine Airport and head to Tasmania. Andy in Tasmania. Andy in Tasmania. Hello folks, we are here, we have arrived safely in Hobart, we've touched down and uh, now the Hobart adventure begins. Uh, we should be finding our way into Hobart from the airport via Uber or taxi to our hotel where we will have a relaxing night hopefully. and tomorrow, tomorrow it all starts. So, harshly. There's the plane behind me. It's quite a walk. It's a brisk walk. Very brisk. My bag's beaten to the baggage plane, would you believe it? Oh, do you miss waiting for your bags? And your bag is always the last bag out. As soon as I go outside the airport, I don't have to wear this anymore. It's great. Hi, how are you going? Not too bad. And here we are, folks. Welcome to Hobart, the capital of Tasmania. And we're here at the mall on Elizabeth Street and uh, oh look, some flowers. Oh, I don't know why I don't know why I did that, sorry. Um, and uh, today we're gonna get into it. Uh, my first port of call is to walk down the Rivulet, which is a creek here in Hobart, and um, we, I'm going to take you to the Cascades Female Factory. Uh, and for those who don't know the history too much of Tasmania, it was once called Van Diemen's Land. And I think it was the second place that the British sent convicts. Uh, and anyway, this factory uh, was staffed by female convicts, I believe. So um, anyway, these days it's a tourist attraction. Then we're gonna swing back. We might look at the docks either before or after we check out the uh, the museum. So, uh, you know, no rest for the wicked. Let's get into it, baby. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Hobart, folks. And just across there, the Masonic Temple. What are the Masons up to in Hobart? Nobody can say that they've got bars on their door. So it must be secret. <laughs> Rutandra. Lovely. Faith, 
I give you the rivulet in there somewhere. The question is, is there a walking path? You think so? Oh, it's splendid. Just splendid, splendid, splendid. Oh, folks. Welcome to Hobart. It's absolutely hmm, splendid. I'm told in good faith by the interweb that this here path leads all the way to the Cascades Female Factory, our destination of the morn. White cockatoos. They're noisy and they're white. Don't know if you can see it very well. Hello. Okay, folks, I, uh, I got you a song for the day. Little rivulet, little rivulet, running through Hope all the way from Mount. No, 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 it's, I'll just give up. Old house, though. Beautiful old house. Wobbly. Little rivulet, cha 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 cha. Hello, young lady. Do you hang out by rivulets often? Hmm. I see you're with child. So yeah, this, uh, this is the Cascades Female Factory here. Uh, and what we have is a, basically a prison for uh, convict women. This is where they were sent, one of the places they were sent uh, uh, down here to Tasmania when it was known as Van Diemen's Land. And uh, they were sent here to this facility. Uh, across this yard, this used to actually be, used to be a, a bunch of buildings here. There was a yard in there too, um, and and you can even go. Some parts of it were dormitory, some parts of it were, you know, other important parts. So, over here you can see there's sort of a bit of a plaque here. There's lots of plaques to to different people who were uh, imprisoned here. Uh, you know, some of them for crimes like stealing sheep or possibly even less of a crime. Uh, the simple fact is that over here in Tasmania at the time they needed, they needed women, they needed females uh, for the men I guess, uh, for housekeepers, for husbands, for whatever. Use your imagination. It's all a bit sad, it really amounts to, to slavery, yeah? Um, so, yeah. Oh, over here, this is the, uh, I think this is the matron's hut, the matron's house. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Ooh, matron, this could be the start of Carry on Van Diemen's land. Hmm.
that was the uh, Cascades Female Factory, the prison for uh, female convicts. Um, so pretty sad really, uh, but we're going to head on now down through the town until we get to the docks. We're going to see the docks. Here we are at the docks. Like uh, much of Hobart, as far as I can see, it looks like it's absolutely beautiful and we have an absolutely beautiful day for it. chicken you've got fishy business seafood takeaway fish and chips six calamari and chips for 13.50 that's not too bad seven scallops and chips crumbed or battered 15 dollars and over here we have a creamery which i believe is a place for high quality iso cremo yes indeed oh and not far on folks, not far now. That big building behind it all, that is the Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery. <laughs> Aha, the Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery. The place of dreams, the place of I don't know what. <laughs> okay, here we are. Time to enter the museum. This will be our last port of call for the day. Uh, we'll see what they offer. And uh, first of all, I think we've got to go through and get a ticket and then we'll head into the galleries. And here we are in the first gallery. And goodness me, it's, it's filled with fairy friends that have been stuffed. Yeah, they're all totally stuffed. Um, so let's, let's have a little look in here and see what we can find. Of course, when you're in Tasmania, you're looking for one animal in particular, and that will be the Tasmanian Devil, which is pretty much nothing like the one that you see in the Looney Tunes cartoons. And over here, we have one of the friendliest mammals, according to popular culture and the TV show, A Country Practice. It's the Wombat, and this one very well could be called Fatso. He's a Whopper. So we've gone up here to the top floor and this gallery um, is basically a memory of the Indigenous Australians, the Aboriginals from Tasmania. Um, so let's just take a little walk around. Uh, you know, the history is, is very confronting, I guess. You'll find, you know, uh, the history is one full of massacres and double crossing the Indigenous population until most of them were dead. Okay, so we've, uh, we've been through the historical section. Now we're going to more of an art gallery. So uh, we're just gonna head up here. Oh, look at that one. That's, um, I don't know whether that you call that art or if you call that uh, science, because I think it's a bit of science and nature mixed in. But uh, let's go and have a look, hey?
it seems that this museum certainly has a, uh, a fascination with the art of taxidermy. Just look at this little light, eh? In this room, this is a room dedicated to the Tasmanian tiger. And um, it's, it's also known as something else, Leviathan or something. Um, anyway, here we are. Uh, this, it looks a bit more like a dog, I guess, uh, uh, than anything or a wolf, but it does have an extraordinarily long tail and it's got those stripes at the back, which is why people consider it to be a tiger. And uh, the last one died in captivity in 1936 but I believe that very very occasionally people claim to have sighted one and perhaps somewhere there may still be something out there but I would say that without a confirmed sighting in the best part of a hundred years it seems very unlikely that there are any t Tasmanian tigers out there at all. Folks that's the first video from Hobart done for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit about the town that is Hobart, the capital of Tasmania. Such a beautiful, beautiful place. Thank you for joining me today as we wave goodbye to the Museum and Art Gallery of Tasmania. We've seen the docks. We've seen the rivulette. Le tout rivulette. No doubt your favourite part of the video was when I sang that the first time. And um, what else can I say? We've seen the marina and docks area. It's been beautiful. There's plenty more to come. We've got Mona, we've got Port Arthur, um, and we've got a lot of other little things around the city. So the next one will be Port Arthur, so do tune in for that next week. Thank you so much for joining me. And what can I say other than, may the journey never end.